marker. shot again for me. Just gonna have a little rummage around in your eye. And her natural brows are a good indicator really of where it should yeah. start. So mm -hmm. I don't need to really do any markings. I'm gonna scroll down. It's very low here. There's my wall. There's my thickness. There's my arch. So Casey's natural hair starts at about 1.12, 1 which again is, is, you know, absolutely fine. Casey, are you happy with where your natural brows start? Yeah. Don't want them brought in or taken out at all? Um, no, I no. don't think so. Can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. When you're measuring the where the brow starts on one side, so if that side started at like you said one three, yeah, but the other side was further in or further out, yeah, how would you? You go with which one looked best. Okay. All right. Or you balance. And you them don't out. really want to take one away, do you? So you. Well, you would can. Go it depends. You know, some people have a real mono brow. Yeah, but. So if if you're balancing them out, yeah. Mm. Like this one, she's actually got a little bit more natural hair on this side than she has on that one. Can you see? Mm. This one starts bang on here, but I don't actually want to bring both of them in. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Looking for that crease, and about halfway in that crease. It's going to sit that number. Three and a half. If you remember, I'm keeping my string nice and straight on that line, so I'm not going up and down from this kind of dashed line. Casey, do you want a bit more of an arch built into your brow? Um, yeah, I would like a slight. Mm -hmm. 
different shape. Not sure how to explain that. No, that's fine. Put your eyes closed again for me. So I'm actually going to take these arches down a little bit lower because otherwise she's going to end up with really thick tails or she's going to end up with a lot of design which doesn't isn't covered by natural hair. And when we have natural hair, we always want that to kind of guide us. Um, as, as good as microblading looks on the skin, if it's covered with natural hair, it always looks far more natural. So I'm going to just work with reinforcing top line and I'm actually going to come down a lot closer to where her natural brow is going to remove some of the hair which falls outside of that outline using one of these little brow razors. So if I show this to Casey she's going to have a bit of a difficulty looking at the shape because she's got this section mm. of hair here which doesn't sit. Also if I don't do this it makes it much more difficult for me to see my template or when I'm working also, when I'm working, I know if there's no natural hair there, then there can't have been a template there. Mm -hmm. So always Not clean up. Mm -hmm. Again, these are single use. These need to either be given to the client afterwards, or they need to be put into your shark's box. We've got those markets, have we? Mm -hmm. straighter across the top, a bit too rounded. <coughs> Hand gel is also a really useful thing for when you're working or clearing up bits on your face. Which you can Use it to clean. Sometimes you need a little bit of wet on whatever you're So Casey, I'm gonna get you to have a look at the shape that I've created for you. 
Bye. I think t tears are coming in anyway. Yeah, so. yeah. Turn the light down and get the client. Right, if you want to open your eyes, Casey, if you want to hold the mirror for me, again, I always get the client to hold the mirror. There's no point in me trying to wave it around in front of them. Um, you the always have to, pardon? You never put it. No. They like doing this. Yeah, so I always just say, hold the mirror for me. Mm -hmm. So I've only shaped one of your brows at the moment. Now, the reason that I've done that is I don't want to spend lots of time making them both look totally perfect if we're then going to change the shape. So okay. at the minute, this shape might look a little bit scary because it's outlined in black. This black outline really is for me to work to and just to give you an idea of the shape of your brow. Now, I work to the inside, not the outside of this shape and what I've done is just to modernize your shape a little bit so if we look at this other brow here I've kind of taken away this tuft here mm. so that we're sending the focus up and over the eye yes. we're going to build in a little bit more volume again totally working with what you already naturally have here just building a little bit more volume in that area where it's a little bit sparse and again, building in a little bit more volume in the area there. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that shape? Yeah, no, I think it's fine. Um, have a look at where it really starts. <laughs> yeah, have a look at where it starts and where it finishes. It does need quite a lot of imagination at this moment in time. Mm. Remember, we're not just gonna fill it in black, mm. right? So what you're not gonna get is two big black blocks like this. What you need to be having a look at is saying, you know, does it start in the right place or would I like it a little bit further in or a little bit further out? Is my arch, uh, would I like my arch a little bit rounder or a little bit squarer? Um, am I happy with where they finish? Um, yeah, just not, um, I don't know. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. I'm just not sure about the top. Okay, I'd like so it not maybe a little bit more, a little bit more angled. I think so. Yeah, absolutely. Right, we can change that. It's not a problem at all. <laughs> this is the whole reason that we do this. And again, do you remember yesterday, ladies, when I was saying about clients, they don't want to say. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you it's, have to. It's hard to tell. That's them, what you. That's why you are doing. That's why you are doing a pre-draw. Is to give them the opportunity to say, I like or I don't like, I would like to change this, I love this, I don't love that. Have a little look at that for me, Casey. Again, mm. is that a little bit better? better yeah. Okay, shall I draw the other side in and we can see how they look together? Yeah. So now what I'm doing, ladies, is just mapping from one side to the other. I can kind of ignore these lines. In actual fact, I might actually get rid of those just for ease. Well, certainly the ones that I don't need. Occasionally use a dry tissue just to pat on the skin because you can't draw on the skin with a wet. With a wet, you can't draw on wet skin. Does it work? No. Yeah, 
שלי לא נכון. Yeah, don't underestimate the amount of imagination that it takes from a client's point of view um, for them to understand. Because it's difficult, isn't it, Casey? Mm -hmm. You kind of think, you're going to do what to my face? It's because they see big black borders as well, don't they? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. They don't see that it's going inside and it's going to not look so big and pointy. And, no. Um, yeah, and they are actually going to look slimmer than what they mm -hmm. first look at, aren't they? They are, yeah. I'm not sure I really like this thread either. I don't normally use this thread and I'm not sure it picks up. I'm not sure it picks up colour in the same way as my white thread. So again, I'm going to slightly stretch the skin while I'm drawing. Hmm? Do we have uh, thread in our kit? No. I'm going to supply you thread for tomorrow. Though. Then, like I said, it's any, really any threading thread, sewing thread. No, you don't need a sewing thread. You should have got some in B&M. I should have, shouldn't I? I could probably put that tomorrow. <laughs> you won't have time to pop out tomorrow during the day. You might do afterwards. Red is good because then you don't lose it. <coughs> Spend half my life looking around. Okay, so let's clean that one up. You want your lines to be as thin as possible because if they're big and thick, they scare the life out of your client and they're much more difficult for you to follow. Right, so Casey, it's going to be quite difficult for you to do. I've noticed something that's different. In fact, I'm going to get you to check. Have a look in the mirror for me, Casey. So this brow, the arch is much more sloped. And this one is a lot more up and thinner. Do you have one which you prefer out of the two? Can you see where I mean? Yeah, so this yeah. is slightly thicker here, and this is slightly thinner. I prefer this one. This is a much more flattering yeah, shape. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Pop your eyes shut.
Okay, so it's very difficult to do, Casey, with a sticker on your forehead. Mm -hmm. If I can get you to give me a nice strong frown for me. And then lift, so they are you surprised? Really surprised. Mm -hmm. And then frown again. Okay, and then relax. Did you see when she did that lift then, one of her muscles is actually stronger than the mm -hmm. other. So if I didn't say really strong, it would have looked like they were uneven. Actually, they're not. It's mm -hmm. just that that was, it's just difficult with this one. So have a look at those for me, Casey. Just have a check over. Check that you're happy with where they start, that you're happy with where they finish. Again, I appreciate it. It takes a lot of um, imagination at this point. But you want to be overall, you want to be happy with the overall shape. That they're not too thick, they're not too thin. Again, that can be quite difficult because we're looking at between the lines, not the outside. Anything that you see that you're not sure about, let me know. Definitely the same. This one's generally thicker anyway, isn't it? It's more thicker. In Just terms of how much hair much you've got, yeah. It? it does look thicker, but I think that's just my eyebrow. Mm-hmm. And the line that I've used is darker as well. Right, have a little check. Feel free to sit up. I'm going to get you to sit up and I'm going to have a check. 